send blessings on all the prophets, starting with Abraham, all of them, I can't mention them all, but from Abraham to Moses to Jesus to Muhammad, peace be upon them all. You know, President Ronald Reagan, near the end of his second term, said something. He said, I thought a bit of the shining city upon a hill. The phrase comes from John Winthrop, he said, who, who wrote it to describe the America he imagined. What he imagined was important because he was an early pilgrim, Just right here. an early freedom man. He journeyed here on what today we call a little wooden boat. And like the other pilgrims, he was looking for a home that would be free. I've spoken of the shining city all my political life, but I don't know if I ever quite communicated what I saw when I said it. But in my mind, it was a tall, proud city built on rocks stronger than oceans, windswept, God blessed, and teeming with people of all kinds living in harmony and peace, a city with free ports that hummed with, with commerce and creativity. That was President Ronald Reagan. He was not a Democrat, nor was he a liberal. He was conservative. He was a Republican. He was quoting a phrase first written by an immigrant Yet he was describing what he thought were America's values. That shining city was a place that was welcoming. It was free. It was diverse. It's true that America has been, from its birth, a work in progress. Some of those that declared that all men were created equal, they also owned slaves. The right to vote was not enjoyed by all at first. Certainly not women, not slaves, and not even all white men. We have always been a work in progress, but we were heading in the right direction. And it's also true that at times we lose our way and are taken off that path to freedom to justice and equality, but we usually, we usually manage to eventually get back to that path. We are once again veering off that path. That's what troubles, that's what troubles me the most. Whether you're talking about a Muslim ban or any of the other anti-immigrant talk, it is un-American. That wall is un-American. Yes. The, pilgrims, yes. the pilgrims didn't find a wall when they came across the ocean. And neither did any of the other people from Europe. That's right. It takes us off the path to justice and equality. It betrays those American values that make us a beacon, that shining city upon a hill. I am a Muslim, and in my faith tradition, we are taught that God put us on this earth to test us. He said in our holy book, the Quran, that he will test us with loss, that he will test us with various trials. And he wants to see, what do we do? Do we do the right thing or not? Do we stand up for what is good and just or not? Are we charitable? in times of hardship and difficulty? Do we stand up for justice? And then he says in the Quran, and give glad tidings to those that patiently persevere. And we need to persevere, and we need to be patient, because I believe in the end, justice for all will win out. But we need, we need to be ready, but we need to be ready to do our part. We need to stand up and be counted like you're doing today. 
we also need to support one another. And I am very grateful, I am very grateful <coughs> for all the emails and the posts of support from our neighbors here in Hunterdon. <laughs> and the support that we have seen from all across this country. I am truly humbled when I read and I hear these comments. We are neighbors, and that means something in my faith tradition. And I thank you for being here today. I thank you for your concern and your well wishes. And I want you to know that I firmly believe that if we persevere and persist, we will right this ship. God willing, God willing, we will right this ship. And we will once again be back on the path to becoming that shining city upon a hill. Thank you.